Today I'm going to show you how to make duck soup for ferrets. This is a recipe you want to use to keep your ferrets from not eating at all if they get sick. Sometimes they will just stop eating everything except the duck soup whenever they have an illness. So I've used this to um, help my ferrets until I was able to get treatment for them at the vet if they were um, not eating for some reason. Um, I feed this to my ferrets every day just because I think it's a fun treat for them and because I want them to um, be used to the taste. Ferrets often imprint on their food and if they're not used to something they won't eat it, especially when they're sick. So this recipe involves chicken, not duck. It was named duck soup after the ferret um, who I guess was the first one to eat it. You're going to want dark meat chicken. I currently have some chicken legs. I usually use chicken leg quarters because those I can find pretty inexpensively. Um, if you shop at Walmart or think Jewel Osco Albertsons carries them as well, Smith's on the West Coast, there'll be a 10 pound bag, a plastic bag of chicken leg quarters for 89 cents a pound approximately just for inflation depending on when you're watching this and I usually buy that and um, separate it out and you know freeze a few leg quarters at a time and then I'll make like three leg quarters at once for the duck soup. Um, Aldi also has an 89 cent a pound dark meat chicken leg quarter package but theirs is in a styrofoam thing not a bag so you can check there as well. We're gonna want to put some water in this and let the chicken boil I'm not going to put too much just because the uh, broth goes to waste. So I'm just going to kind of do enough so that I can get a nice... I'm not even covering it all the way. I'm going to boil this on medium-high heat. And I'm going to vent my lid just because um, whenever you boil water, and the lid is completely covered, it often boils over and creates a big mess and uh, messes with your flame. Our chicken has been boiling for a bit. Um, I tend to know that they're done when the meat starts falling off the bone, like this part's kind of done. I'm gonna take them out and let them cool on the cutting board going to take some broth and have the broth soak in a bowl with the kibble. If you have ferrets and you feed them kibble, then you know that they leave crumbs and I save the crumbs and use them in the duck soup. Having a familiar food flavor in this will help your ferret to get used to the taste if they have never had duck soup before. I'm going to put enough broth in here so that it's kind of swimming in it. That should be good. I'm going to let this cool, I'm going to let this cool and then I'll debone it and put it in the blender. At this point, the only ingredients you'll be using are the chicken, the kibble, and then the broth mixed together in the blender, whatever fashion or quantity you want or have. Um, so I will see you in a minute. So I've let the chicken cool. You'll see the kibble has kind of swelled up and I'm going to debone the chicken now. I guess I'm going to do, I try to do an even amount of chicken in each run of the blender. So I'll do, I have an even number here. I'll do two legs at a time in the blender. You're going to want to include the skin as well because there's a lot of fat in there and fat is good for ferrets. Ferrets are obligate carnivores, which means they can't properly digest plant matter. There's usually plant matter in their kibble because it's nearly impossible to make kibble without it. 
but um, the kibble I use is carb free. So since ferrets are so obligated to eat meat, adding this in their diet can also help with um, that, especially if you're not, not able to give them a very high protein diet. Ferrets uh, diet should be like 40% protein and 20% fat whenever you're looking at the uh, nutrition facts on the kibble. I think I'll start with the kibble. I'm gonna, now this is just an eyeball thing. You can certainly weigh or measure, but I'm going to try to guess three servings of this kibble since I have three batches of blender soup I'm gonna make. So you're gonna put a little bit of softened kibble in and then a little bit of the broth in. And you want it to be fairly watery. It's very difficult to pour it into the ice cube trays you're gonna need if it's not very watery. This is probably a good ratio. When making duck soup, ice cube trays are gonna be your friend because they are the best way to store it. This is kind of thick still. I like it a little bit thinner, but milkshake like this is, is all right too. So then you're gonna freeze them. After the cubes are frozen, you're going to want to take them out of the ice cream trays and put them in a bag. Here's a um, water bottle style ice cube of duck soup. The reason you're going to want to put them in a bag is because I've heard stories where people who left their duck soup in the trays um, reported that they started to smell after a while and the ferrets wouldn't touch them. So I think that maybe the oxygen or the air in the freezer just kind of like messes up the ice cube uh, or the cubes of duck soup. So you're gonna to wanna to put them in like a sealed bag or something. So the soup cubes have frozen and I'm just gonna put them in my freezer bag for better storage um, so that they stay fresh. Uh, I have taken out one that we're gonna put in the microwave right now. I put it in for 30 to 40 seconds depending on the size. That one I do 30 seconds and these thicker ones, uh, they usually do better with 40 seconds. And then I'll add water to the bowl and kind of stir it up with my finger. I always use my finger to make sure that the temperature is, you know, not too hot for them. And um, you're gonna want it like, you know, pretty mild, like a lukewarm kind of temperature. They're not going to eat it if it's really hot. And then I just put it on the floor and they enjoy it. Um, if it's the first time you feed this to your ferrets, you may want to finger feed them because they will probably not be used to it and will think you're trying to poison them. But then once they get used to it, they'll be fine. So there you have it, a very easy, quick way to make duck soup for your ferrets. I've had 14 ferrets and all of them absolutely love this recipe and I'm sure yours will too. Even the picky ones like Pixie here. Um, Oliver and Pixie, hope you and your ferrets love this and thank you for coming by.